the stock market right now is at an all-time high. This is early 2014, and we're already breaking new highs for this year. And why exactly are the stock prices going up? Is it really that the economy is getting better? Surely that's not the real reason, and people who are subscribed to this channel they know that. But let me just go over a few reasons why that is. Number one, it's pretty obvious you print trillions and trillions of dollars, you're going to have asset prices rising. One of these things could be the equities markets. That could simply be one of the, the reasons here. However, what about the fact that people are fleeing their bank accounts and they're going into stocks. That's what I wanna bring up to today. So basically, Wells Fargo denies plan to charge customers for domestic deposits. And people have been receiving letters now saying that they're gonna be charged five bucks every time they get their paycheck. This is something that I have been warning about for, you know, since the start of this YouTube channel, that people are basically going to be limited on their money, on their cash, and that is a, a method of control. It's called capital controls. They've done it in historically many, many times, and this is coming to us right now. This is not the first time this has been uh, broken, this news. It has come up, and other companies have been doing this, where they restrict how much money can be moved in and out of the bank, even though it's your money. Now, you may know, you may have experienced this personally. When you go to the bank and you take out a large sum of money, they will ask, what are you doing with that money? What are you... Uh, you know, what are you going to do with it? Where are you going to put it? Uh, you know, we're having a little trouble getting that cash for you. Ultimately, they don't have the money inside their bank accounts. That's pretty obvious by now. However, they're really limiting how much we can take out. So I'll just go over this uh, one thing. According to a Florida woman, Wells Fargo is telling customers that it will have to pay $5 every time they deposit their funds into their checking or savings account. This is huge news. And you probably can't see, but I'll flip it up anyway. That's the letter that she receives. I'll put a link down in the description. But it says, effective April 7th, 2014, the fee will be deposited uh, for deposited U.S. or foreign currency denominated international items, including drafts, will be $5 per item. So here we go. It starts like that. And that also $5 to use the ATM and all sorts of different things that they use to make you not want to put your money in the banking system. And where do you have to put it? You have to put it in your 401k. You have to put it in your stock market directly and you put it in all sorts of investments and then from there those are basically um, they're not insured so that's what they can do with the whole bail-in strategy that I've talked about many times in my book I talked about the bailouts and there's all these schemes that they have and it basically just empowers them empowers the banking industry and the one thing that they can't really get to right now is people's insured deposits and of course when you take your money out of the bank and you put it inside of a risky investment like a stock, for example, you're not insured, and then they, then they can take your money. And this is another scheme that the banksters have drawn up, and this is going to work very wonderfully for them, and they're going to win on this, in this part. A lot of people are not going to be prepared. That's the one thing that I do. I get people prepared. I do this in my personal life every single day, and I do it on this YouTube channel. I wrote a book about it. I want people to be prepared because the, man, the more people that are prepared, the more people that take their money out of this banking industry and we defund them, at least partially, we have a better chance we can soften the blow and things will ultimately be better. Not perfect, but hey, we, we need to do what we can. And the very first thing you need to do is take at least a portion of your money out of the banking system because this is far too dangerous and they're going to be doing these bailout strategies. They're going to do the bail-in, the bailouts. They're going to steal our money. They're going to tax us to death with all new sorts of taxes. And they've been doing this for years. This is their plan and they've been working on it right now. Please listen to me and please just do your own research and really, um, you know, get, get a hold of your finances. It's, it's very crucial, especially not just for us, but for our children and their children. So I wanted to just say, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, the subscribership is growing. I want to say hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything, send them my way. 
uh, you can comment down below and uh, you know you can also email me at david at the money gps.com